GD Energy Products Redline Plus valves and seats are field proven to last 37% longer and extend maintenance intervals. We're here to show you how to properly remove and install them so you can service them right the first time. We're going to start by removing the suction and discharge retainers. Next, we're going to remove our suction and discharge covers with a cover puller tool. Start by threading the whole tool in, and we grab an impact, and it runs it right out. And we repeat the same procedure for the discharge cover. Now we're ready to remove our discharge spring and discharge valve. Our springs are color-coded to match the urethane color on the valve so you know you have the right spring. Now we're ready to reach on through with our spring retainer tool. Or reach in and remove your spring retainer and suction valve spring. And now we can remove our suction valve. Now we're ready to use our seat removal tool. We'll start by removing the discharge seat and then the suction seat. First, we take our clamshell. Drop it in till it stops. Make sure the chain is out of the way so we can insert our threaded rod. We put our hydraulic pancake jack on top. Center it over the hole. Now we're ready to insert our threaded rod. And thread it into the seat puller. Now that we've got our threaded rod threaded all the way through the seat puller, we need to tighten this nut up to bottom that out. But it's important to keep tightening this nut until it gets really stiff. Because what happens on the inside is we're actually taking up the slack in the seat puller. So you don't bottom out your hydraulic jack on top. So we tighten this until it's pretty snug. And I can see what we're really doing on the inside. And we're ready to hook up our hydraulic jack to remove our seat. Thread our jack in and engage the jack to remove the seat. Now that we've dislodged our discharge seat, we're ready to remove this entire assembly and repeat the process for our suction seat. Make sure they're clean and dry, removing any sand or debris that may be in the way, as that can lead to premature washout. It's important to install these seats dry without any lubrication as these are precision fit tapered seats. Start with the suction side, drop it in, make sure it's centered. We can take an old valve and use that to do the initial setting of the seat. You take a bar, give it a couple, two, three good taps so you hear a nice hard metal to metal sound. That's gonna make sure your O-ring is fully engaged in that taper bore. That O-ring's important because it helps with the initial sealing as we pump this fluid end up with pressure, it seals around that seat so the pressure on the valve can actually fully seat that seat all the way into the taper board. Now we're ready to install our suction spring and Falcon suction spring retainer. Insert it straight push down and give it a twist 90 degrees to set it. Repeating the same process, 
Make sure the seat is centered down there. Drop the valve in, take a bar, give it a few good whacks. Make sure you hear that metal to metal sound. That O-ring in that taper is really important to make sure that you don't have a wash or anything in that area. And we drop our spring in. Now we're ready for our covers. Discharge cover is much shorter than the suction cover and has a little inset for the discharge spring. It's important to make sure that you inspect the cover seals thoroughly on the discharge cover and the suction cover, we recommend you replace them every time you replace the suction cover. Make sure the seals are lubricated thoroughly before installing. Now we drop our covers in. Make sure they're centered and seated just before the seal actually engages in the board. And we repeat the same process with the suction cover. Now we use our retainers to fully seat the covers and the seals in the bores. Grab our section retainer in first. Make sure we have it nice and lined up. Now we use the wrench to slowly finish seating the seal and the cover. Now we'll repeat that process with our discharge retainer. Making sure it's nice and snug before we use our wrench. We'll continue to work this all the way down. It's important to make sure your suction and discharge retainers are tight to make sure your covers are fully seated and there's no excess stress in the threads on the retainer or in the fluid end. Now you know how to properly install Redline Plus valves and seats. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any additional questions. We have field service techs available wherever you are, whenever you need them. And we can also come out to your site for a Pump University course to make your team the experts.